Hi, I'm Tom Graves. Just like to show you a sample of the kind of material that we will be looking at in the Enterprise Architecture Masterclass series. This example is about reframing or rethinking about how we look at architecture as a whole. The classic view is to talk about people, process and technology. But another way of looking at this is to think of it in terms of actor, scene and stage. The advantage of doing this is it show, helps us to see the relationships between the different players in the space, to find out more about the scene and how it works, and also look at more about what's happening in the stage, such as in this case, the film camera and the cigarettes. Every, part, every process is a story or collection of stories. Every traverse through is a kind of self-contained story, each with its own actors, its own actions, its own events that start and end. So when we look at a, 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 an image like this, the, the usual idea is that the actors are the people in front of the camera. But actually, it's everyone. Everyone in this space is an actor in the overall story. One of the problems we have with IT is it tends to look at actors as, or its users as kind of robots rather than as real people. And equally, one of the other problem we have is that people tend to view machines as if they're other people. For example, the washing machine's playing up. It knew I was in a hurry today. When we look at the relationship between structure and story, so we look at process, that's typically the view inside out from the organisation looking out into the broader shared enterprise. What we think of is when we look at things from the enterprise view, the shared enterprise, the supply chain and more, it's more like an unfolding of story, like a plot or a plot line. So when we look at types of story, some of them are scripted, such as in a call centre, some of them are analysed, some of them are adapted from best practice, needing skill, and we very much need skill when we make things up uh, on the fly as we go along. When we look at a, f a stage play, it's made up of scenes in a story, each with a beginning, a middle and an end. Things happen, things change. Same is true of a process model. With a start event, things happen, there are end events. There are identifiable scenes with a beginning, a middle and an end. A useful phrase that we collect from script writing is the idea of show, don't tell. Each line of action drives the story forward. In this case, it's an emergency centre, police emergency centre in Switzerland. They're looking for a missing boy. Now notice all of the props that underpin the story, the little things that are often not noticed. In this case, the chair, the glass and the ladder. We can see here two of those actually directly used. Other props are used to set the scene, to provide the context. When we look at the story of the emergency centre, much the same applies. There are the computers and all the rest that the IT people would know about, but actually it's a whole scene full of other props, full of support services. Why is the tree there, for example? It's not IT at all. Why is it part of the architecture? Well, it is, because when you're spending eight hours in a shift focusing, trying to guide people to find a missing boy, the tree in the middle helps you keep stable, keeps you grounded. It has its place in the story. During the, the course, one of the things that we'll do is we stop frequently and use the material we've just looked at to explore how we apply all of this to, our, to the architecture questions that we've brought with us to the course. So that's a quick summary of one part of the material. There's a lot more to explore in the course. So look forward to seeing you there. Hope, you'll see, hope you'll, we'll see you soon. Thanks for now.